Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Don't forget, subscribe button's down there, you know what to do with it. And don't forget to click on the bell to get notified of everything. Today we're going to have a look at a kit that we sell in our online store at shop.hobbylinkinternational.com. Um, this one's by AJM Models. It's a 1700th British Sloop HMS Black Swan. HMS Black Swan had quite an adventurous career and travelled from the North Atlantic as far as Australia as part of her wartime career. Um, she was commissioned in January 1940 and she had three twin 4-inch quick-firing anti-aircraft uh, turrets. Um, her th the turret in the third position, or where the, th the third turret would have been, um, they were supposed to have a quadruple barrel two pounder pom pom anti aircraft gun mounted there, but it wasn't available when she was commissioned, so she had 20mm cannon in place. It wasn't until May 1941 that the pom pom was installed. Um, the pom pom is part of this kit, so it represents the ship uh, after May 1941. But if you want to swap out the pom pom for cannons, 20mm cannons, then you can build her at any time. She uh, spent a lot of time doing escort duties. Um, she uh, was hit by a bomb in the Norwegian campaign. The bomb, the bomb passed straight through her, sh through her before exploding. Um, she was damaged in a mine in 1940. Um, well, she had a lot of uh, convoy escort action. At the end of hostilities, um, in 1945, Black Swan followed the cruise of HMS Belfast into Shanghai and were the first Royal Navy warships to liberate Japanese uh, prisoners containing British and Empire prisoners. In 1949, she took part in the Yangtze incident when she, with others, went to the aid of HMS Amethyst and she was finally scrapped in 1956. Okay, so let's see what we get inside the box. There's Basically the kit's by AGA Models, 1700th scale, HMS Black Swan, which was a Second World War British sloop. Uh, kit number 70021. Um, we sell this in our shop. Uh, all proceeds go towards keeping the websites up and doing the giveaways and those sort of expenses. Um, so let's see what we're going to sell. So it's the usual thick cardboard a corrugated cardboard box to keep everything safe. Inside we have there's the hull, bag of resin parts, instructions, and the fan wrench. So let's move that out of the way. So let's start off with the, the main hull. So sloop is what is it? Kind of destroyer sized, but um, not so fast, not so heavily armed, sort of a a light destroyer sort of thing. Um, so looking at that, it's obviously um, waterline. A little bit of flash around the edge of the waterline. That's fine. Detailing on the deck is very nice. There's, um, I can see there's plank, plank lines on here. Some superstructure. There's even some overhang here that they've uh, moulded in there, so that's pretty clever. A little bit of cleanup I can see right there, I think. I need my magnifiers to be sure though. Portholes um, look very nice. A special array of the arrangement of the portholes. Yeah, so that looks very nice. Just needs a bit of bit of cleanup, but there's some very nice fine detail on there, which is nice to see. Then we've got all the resin parts. I'll take photographs, close-up photographs of all these. So you can, uh, if you go to the website, the link's underneath, um, you'll see close-up images of all these. Just a couple of loose bits of flash there. So we've got life rafts. Uh, those are depth charges. Uh, I think that's probably a forward gun platform, funnel, superstructure, uh, not 
sure what those are. Just boats. So there's a fair few parts there. The resin is very nicely detailed. Look at power veins. Uh, there's plenty of nice stuff in here. That looks like the probably that might be the three turrets that were on that were fitted to the ship. There's nice detail even on this superstructure. There's internal structure on the on the bridge there. I think that is. So that's all very nice. Um, you get a decal sheet with looks like Royal Navy ensigns on it. Let's just have a look. See in here. Oh, there's a couple of. I don't know. It looks like maybe you make the gun turrets from the photo etch there. But there's a couple of ensigns there. I find AGM's photo etch is really quite thin and flexible. It's uh, it's not thick stuff, and so which keeps it in scale with the the one seven hundredth. So that all looks good. And then the instructions we have. Let's have a look. See. I can organise this. We've got one, two, three sheets of paper. First one is basically the parts. I think there's, I'll count the parts and see how many, how many there is and I'll put that on the website. Rigging guide, paints in life colour and named. And then we have the build itself. Let's see where we start. Um, yeah, starting with superstructure <coughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That all looks reasonably good. <coughs> what they've, what they usually do is there's also a bit here where you have to. Looks like you fabricate the mast yourself with um, various sizes of. Um, plastic rod and anything in a square box is photo etch anything in a round box is resin um, so that's an easy way to find your way around the instructions um, they look to be rather rather nicely detailed just 11 steps a fair few parts um, all in all looks very nice so what we'll do is we'll go through the instructions have a close-up look at some of the, look at some of the parts and you see exactly what we get. The history in plastic of uh, HMS Black Swan is pretty easy. There isn't any. Um, the closest we get is some people have made kits of HMS Starling, which was a modified Black Swan that came along later. Um, but as far as one of the original um, Black Swan class, um, I think this is the only kit that's out there. So in the box you get about 109 resin parts plus a solid resin hull. The quality of those is pretty neat. One PE sheet with about 135 parts. Three smaller PE sheets with uh, three parts each. You get a decal sheet, a couple of thin brass rods, and three sheets of double-sided paper, giving a page of parts layout and painting guide. Five pages of building the instructions over 11 steps. The box is a top and open top opening corrugated cardboard box everything inside is bagged and wrapped in bubble wrap um, so shipping shouldn't be a problem steps one and two start off with the main armament step one um, basically make the three twin turrets it doesn't say to make three but there's three to be made step two make the pom-poms with a mix of resin and photo etch parts note that throughout the build uh, resin parts are in round boxes, photo H is in numbers are in square boxes. Okay, down to step three, we start working on the main superstructure. Um, start off adding various boxes and things like that onto the top of the main superstructure. You'll need some 0.3 millimeter plastic rod here as well. Um, 
you've put the number two to it on for the built-in step one and add some railings so you might want to add the railings after you've completely finished this assembly because moving down to step four we build the bridge um, mostly from resin um, so you put that together and then on to step five and it shows you that the bridge goes on stop at the top of the item you built in step three the two views here also show you exactly where the 0.3 millimeter plastic rod um, you used in the previous step so you probably won't actually add that until you've got steps three and four done and then finally added as part of step five step six we move to the forecastle adding some small details at the very front of the ship and then adding more railings at the front of the ship um, the main superstructure you complete in step five also goes on at the front end of the ship in this step and the uh, the front turret goes in here as well. Moving down to step seven, we move working roughly amidships, add the ship's funnel, which is in resin, add the ship's boats on their davits going here, um, sorted small parts. Again, you're going to be adding some um, 0.2 millimeter plastic rod to the funnel to replicate the pipe work on there. And then moving down to step eight, and we're actually almost completely out of photo etch building a searchlight station that we're going to add in a later step and now in step nine um basically continuing to move aft uh, the big thing here is you're going to scratch build the main mast you'll need some plastic rod of 0 0.3 0 0.4 and 0.5 millimeter diameter um, and then moving back you add some uh, some other small parts i can see there's some depth charges you add on the side as well fit the search light that you built in the previous step uh, also add the pom-pom uh, gun that you built in, in uh, i think step two and you build the platform that it goes on and put some more railings on around it and then down to step 10 um, still roughly amidships, but moving, continuing to move backwards. You build the aft mast out of 0.3 and 0.5 millimeter plastic rod. Add more railings um, and depth charge throwers and the small uh, cranes that you use to move the depth charges around. And you add the number, the last turret, the third turret goes on at this step along with the last ship's boat. And then to the final step at the very aft end of the ship, adding the depth charge racks at the very back, ship's rails, uh, looks like a windlass goes in there as well. And basically that completes the build. So paints and decals, you're given a couple of uh, colour views. Um, basically the ship is light grey overall. Um, the colours are called out in life colour numbers and named. It should be easy to convert them because personally I don't seem to get on with life colour paints. Um, but that's straightforward enough, there's not a camouflage pattern. Decals, you're given um, two, Royal en two Royal Navy ensigns and a Union Jack and the, uh, the draft lines are also given as well in decals. So everything that you should need is there. Okay, so an overall conclusion. Um, this is the only kit of the early uh, Black Swans as they were built, um, so it has that going for it. If you want a later one, there's uh, I think one, maybe two kits out there They're for the modified class, but if you want the originals, this is about the only one. Uh, that being said, there's a nice level of detail in the kit. You've got 110 resin parts and about 135 photo etch parts, so you'll end up with a very nice looking kit with plenty of fine detail. Um, Coloured, the instructions are pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's a nice small kit. Um, and overall it should do quite well. Don't forget that we sell this in our shop and our prices, we keep them really competitive because we're not here, we're not in it to make money. Well, as long as we cover our server costs and keep our hobby sites up, we're happy.